So I want you to all close your eyes and picture the scene that I'm about to describe. You're walking through the Great Bear Rainforest on the northern coast of British Columbia, known around the world as one of the most breathtaking and diverse wilderness environments. You're surrounded by green ferns and mighty spruce trees. The sound of trickling water from a creek to your right fills the silence of the forest. You are with a group of five others and a knowledgeable guide, all set out to have the once in a lifetime chance of seeing a powerful grizzly bear in its natural habitat. As a lone grizzly wanders into eyesight, the guide tells you to stop and be quiet and just witness this rare event. The grizzly hunches its neck to take a bite out of the foliage, a mere 50 feet in front of you. As it does this, a gunshot rings out through the forest. Bang! The bear drops dead to the ground, all 600 pounds. Its body now as limp and lifeless as a sack of coal. Three men walk up to it, laughing and congratulating each other. You stand there in shock, not yet having processed what you just witnessed. As your group retreats back to the lodge where you are staying, you're still unable to get over what happened right in front of your eyes. A powerful and peaceful mammal was murdered legally in this pristine nature reserve. How is this even allowed? You may now open your eyes. According to Pacific Wild, a group that focuses mainly on the conservation of animals in the Great Bear Rainforest, nine of the 57 grizzly bear population units in British Columbia are listed as threatened. If we do not stop the unnecessary killing of these animals, it is quite likely that we will see the extinction of them in our lifetime, bringing both the biological diversity and economy of this province. In the next few minutes, I'm going to make you aware of the finer points of this issue. I will tell you what causes this problem, what makes it a problem, and what we can do to help mitigate this issue. Let's begin by looking at the different mindsets that contribute to the problem that this hunting has become. There are a couple arguments that people make who are in support of the hunt. Some believe that the trophy hunt provides a major boost to the economy of British Columbia. The hunting and fishing industry in British Columbia brings in an estimated 370 million to the province each year, with 540,000 of it coming directly from licensing fees for the grizzly bear hunt. Another argument made by these hunters is that they believe the killing of a grizzly is about more than just the shot. They believe the experience of looking for and actually locating one of these bears is more valuable and exhilarating than the kill itself. One Prince George hunter is quoted in a CBC report as saying, is so much more than the kill, so much more is the adventure. So what makes this type of hunting a problem? Well, the allowance of this hunt has many negative effects on the species, the ecosystem they live in, and the economy of British Columbia. Every year, hunters shoot and kill between 300 and 400 grizzly bears. This is above government allowed quotas, but these quotas are not enforced by the government. In other words, many are killed, but not many are preserved. You see, bears are a vulnerable species in general. Over the life, firstly, a female may give birth to a maximum of 10 cubs over its lifespan, with half of them dying within the first year. The ones that survive proceed to spend the next two and a half to three and a half years with their mother, preventing any mating from going on during this period. Secondly, these bears have very large territories, up to 4,000 square kilometers for an adult male, which makes them very sensitive to logging, roads, railways, land development, and other projects. Thirdly, these bears must also deal with the declining salmon stocks of British Columbia, which have gone down every year over the last decade. With 15% of the grizzly bear population units in BC being threatened, it's not hard to see why these hunts could be a problem for the sustainability of the species. In addition, the sustainment rather than the killing of these bears is more valuable for the economy as well. Bear viewing generates more for the economy than bear hunting does. In a study done by the Center for Responsible Travel, visitors in 2012 spent 12 times more on bear viewing in British Columbia than they did on bear hunting. 
also reported in this study is that 510 people were directly employed by bear viewing companies in 2012, whereas bear hunting companies only employed a mere 11. These statistics show how much more attractive it is for these tourists to see bears there alive rather than dead. So we have covered the attitudes that contribute to this problem in British Columbia and why it is a problem. But how are you able to make a difference in this issue? Well, momentum for an outright ban on the hunt of grizzly bears is growing, and you can help be a part of the solution. The NDP government announced in August that the hunting of all grizzly bears in the Great Bear Rainforest will be banned starting November 30th, 2017. However, this propo proposed ban is not a ban because it has a very big loophole in the administration. This loophole allows for the hunt of these bears for meat and food purposes outside the Great Bear Rainforest to still happen, as long as the hunters take the bears' edible portions with them. The problem with this is that these bears are virtually never actually hunted for food, so it just allows these hunters an excuse to keep killing these bears. This, as stated by the Raincoast Conservation Foundation, the only way to de-incentivize the killing of grizzly bears is for all trophy parts of the bears, such as the head, the hide, and the paws, be surrendered to, by hunters to provincial wildlife authorities. So how can you get involved in this issue? Well, there are many petitions calling for action by the government. One of the ways to end this practice is to stand in unity with the great people of Pacific Wild. On their website, they have the option of sending a pre-drafted email to the NDP government, as well as signing a petition online. Your voice could be the different make, difference maker, and we are all able to act upon our intentions regarding this matter. As you can see, we have work to do. It is important to understand that we can all make a difference in the mitigation of the trophy hunt of grizzlies in BC. These are majestic creatures that we should be proud of and willing to protect for the sake of generations to come. So it's time to review what we have covered today. We have talked about what viewpoints people take that support the tr trophy hunt of grizzlies. I've told you why killing these animals provides a problem for the province of British Columbia. I've outlined the steps we can all take to help curb this issue and make our voices heard. Now, once again, I want you to all picture this. You're walking through the woods on a cool November day with a group of friends a few years later. There is a large brown figure to your right rustling, rustling around in the bushes, but you can't quite make out what kind of animal it is. As it peeks its head out, you realize that it is a grizzly bear. Your heart starts to beat faster as you are not sure if there are any hunters near. As you slowly back away, the bear returns to its rummaging, no longer concerned with your presence. You retreat back to where you came from with your friends. However, you can rest easier that night knowing that the bear will still be alive in the morning.